I'm just I'm sick of sitting at this desk. It's still winter. When spring comes, all the videos will be outside. All of them, maybe some of them, most of them. Maybe I don't. Right, I'm going to start with an apology. This video will be quite boring to most people. If you don't like photography, I suggest you go and watch Breaking Bad or Blue Peter or something because it will be really, really tedious. Even if you do like photography, you've probably seen these videos before where photographers run through their gear. They get pretty boring. So I'm just going to run through this as fast as possible uh, for your sake and mine, to be honest. Right, this is the camera that I shoot with most often, probably 95% of the time. It's the Nikon or Nikon D750. Um, I've got a third party battery grip on it at the moment that I keep on there probably 50% of the time. Uh, it's really good, never let me down. The mechanism to get it off is pretty stiff sometimes so it stays there more than I want just because I can't get it off. I've also got a 2470 Tamron f2.8 zoom lens. This is pretty much the only lens I use on this camera. Uh, it's everything I need in focal length and speed. Uh, I did break it this morning though. It was on a tripod and the wind blew it over into a rock. Don't know if you can see the hood's pretty mushed. But that's the good thing about full frame DSLR systems is that uh, they're pretty much indestructible. Had I dropped a mirrorless system onto a rock this morning. It'd probably be in about 300 bit. This though, still sort of works. The files from this camera are incredible. The dynamic range is second to nothing I've ever used. Uh, and that's important when you're compositing because you need to match lights and exposures of different images. So I can pull the highlights and the shadows of the files from this camera way more than anything I've ever used. However, I don't really like using this day to day and I much prefer mirrorless systems. I really, really like modern electronic viewfinders. I find them much more intuitive to use and I like that it gives you a live exposure readout. I, I tend to chimp more with this. I don't get a whole lot of joy shooting with it, but it's very efficient. It's a good workhorse. Uh, in fact, I'll film the rest of this video with this camera. Magic. This is the Canon G9X. This is what I was filming just before and it's a great little vlogging camera. Would I buy it again though? Probably not. If I was gonna buy something again, I'd get the G7X, because it's got the flip out screen and a much wider lens, which is a big deal for vlogging. So good little camera, probably wouldn't buy it again. Another camera system, this is the Olympus OMD EM5. I properly love this camera. I really, really enjoy shooting with it, but I don't use it often because dynamic range compared to the Nikon is terrible. But as a walk around camera, it's awesome. I've currently got a Samyang manual focus fisheye lens on it, which is a good fun little lens. Uh, I've got a few other lenses for this camera. A 20 mil Panasonic 1.7, a 14 mil 2.5, and uh, 45 to 175 uh, in micro four thirds, which is what the Olympus is. The focal range and aperture is halved when you compare it to 35 mil. So a 14 mil is actually a 28 mil. A 20 mil is actually a 40 mil, and that's probably my most used lens on that camera. And a 45 to 175 is, oh my god, 9, 9, 90 to 350. That shouldn't have been that hard. Great little system. If the sensor was more capable, I'd use it as my only camera. Of all my gear, this is my favorite thing. It's a Peak Design strap, and it's kind of like a car seat belt. Obviously it's red, unless you've got a supercar, you're not gonna have one of those, but it's really well made. Very easy to adjust on both sides. Clips on and off the camera really easily. Looks quite nice as well. Yeah, love it. Hard drives, I use Western Digital hard drives. P pretty bog standard, to be honest. People keep telling me I need to set up as RAID 1. Not a fan of that idea. People think that RAID 1 is like a bulletproof backup. It's not. If you make a mistake on OneDrive, that copies onto the other as well. So I won't be doing that anytime soon, but I am looking for better backup solutions because I currently do it manually and I panic every single time I do it. So suggestions would be good. Uh, speed lights, I've got a couple of these. I use Yongnu speed lights, which I think are pretty much the cheapest speed lights you can get. Super reliable though, I've never had an issue with it. Got a couple of them, don't know where the other one is. Rode VideoGo microphone, um, SD card holder, gels for the speed light, trigger trap. I just heard that they've gone out of business, which is a real shame because I like that company and their product. Uh, shutter release, flash for the OMD, little baby softbox. It's pretty cool. Rarely do I use on-camera flash, it's usually off-camera. So I use these Cactus V5, I think they are, transceivers. Super reliable, never had an issue with these either. I got a little shutter release with a battery grip for the Nikon. Uh, yeah, again, really good. Tether cable, little wind muffs for my vlogging camera. <laughs> I think they're pretty common on YouTube. Someone asked me for a recommendation on a carbon fiber tripod the other day. Don't know, never had a carbon fiber tripod. This is the tripod I'm using at the moment. Don't even know what it's called. A Velben Sherpa 530. Seems to do the job for me. I've got a few other tripods lying around. This is really cheap Manfrotto one. And it's got the mic that's recording me at the moment on it, which is a Zoom H1 handy recorder. It is handy. Typically I have the speed lights in umbrellas. Hello, that umbrella is from a company called Newer, pretty cheap on Amazon, and light stands from a company called 
Fotora, Fotora, Fotora.com. Again, pretty cheap. Probably wouldn't trust them outside, but indoors they're fine. Um, other lights, I've got two like soft boxes lighting me now. Actually, I think they're newer as well. Everything is linked in the description. Um, these are pretty handy and dusty at the moment. Black and white reflective surfaces that I put on a table to shoot products with. If you shoot any products or composites, it's quite handy to have something that can produce a reflection and just generally looks quite nice. And, Jesus Christ. Yeah. This is, believe it or not, a folded up camping table. And I use this as my table for, for photographing most stuff that can sit on a table. Uh, it's got this carry strap, which is a bit redundant to be honest, because it weighs about three tons. Um, what else? I'm not even gonna bother bringing that over here. Here's a background that I use. As you can see, it's green, and on the other side, it's white, which is good. Best thing about that background is it fits into this, making it super portable. Uh, computers. This is a MacBook Pro late 2015, I think. I got it early last year, so. It's the one before they got rid of all the ports. So I'm super pleased I picked it up because the new one just sounds a bit ridiculous. Why does it not have an SD card slot? Everyone wants an SD card slot, but this one is spec to the max, use it for all my editing. Super fast, so pleased I bought it. For editing, I use Photoshop and Lightroom. In the words of George Clooney and Jack Black, what else? Uh, for video, I use Adobe Premiere Pro. This monitor is a Dell U25H15, something or other. Really reasonable price and comes pre-calibrated. I've done a fair bit of print testing over the last few weeks and I'm pretty impressed with the color accuracy versus what comes out on print. Uh, for Photoshop and Lightroom, I also use a Wacom Intuos. Intuos? Intuos? This is like their bottom of the line tablet. In fact, they might have even replaced it by now. Um, but I wouldn't change it for the world. All I really use it for is masking and it does the job perfectly. But I see some photographers doing their masking with their like trackpad or mouse and I just don't know how they got the patience to do it. So I wouldn't swap this for the world. You can get much bigger and better versions of this. I've never really seen the need, but they are available. But if you do a lot of Photoshopping, you don't have one of these, get one. It'll be the best 50 quid you ever spent. Little handy Joby tripods. Uh, and I think that's a wrap. I hope to at least some people that's been useful. Um, I probably won't do this again for a really long time although i want to change that camera soon so maybe i don't know but thank you for watching I promise next time will be a bit more interesting <laughs>